Welcome back again. Fabrizio Romano has stated that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is focused on board matters when he finally enters the Old Trafford doors. Coming in as a sporting director, Ratcliffe knows he will be judged on his own performance and is not looking to replace the manager. Results are important, but the business mogul is focused on that side of the club and not looking to continue the revolving door of managers that Man United have seen since the departure of Sir Alex Ferguson. So, while Man United look to raise funds for transfers by moving players on, in the January transfer window, they will face some snags in doing so. One such player is Donny van de Beek, who is attracting interest from Eintracht Frankfurt. Despite being interested in a loan move for the former Ajax player, he currently earns around 6 Mellers per year, which is not affordable for the Bundesliga side. On the other side, former Manchester United coach René Muhlenstein has criticized Antony and Alejandro Garnacho for showing no intention to serve their striker, Rasmus Hoylund. United striker Hoylund failed to register a single shot during Tuesday's 1-0 defeat at home to Bayern Munich. With his side eliminated from the Champions League U after finishing bottom of Group A, the Danish international has scored five times in Europe this season, but is yet to find the net in the Premier League U. There are growing concerns regarding the 72 million of pounds summer signing, who has been guilty of wasteful finishing both in Europe and domestically. But Muhlenstein has pointed the finger at the two wide starters for providing almost no service. I thought he, Hojland, was way short against Bayern, Muhlenstein told TalkSport. Against those defenders, he never got a kick. But the problem is, he is flanked by two individual players, Antony and Garnacho, who have no intention to give him any kind of service because they want to create things for themselves and not help any striker. So there's an imbalance, and that imbalance is going forward, but also going back in terms of the defensive shape, which we've seen in so many games. Muhlenstein's concern echoes that of one of his former players at United, Paul Scholes. The former Reds midfielder has previously been critical of club captain Bruno Fernandes for not doing enough to help the Dane, and he also pointed the finger at Antony and Garnacho after Tuesday's defeat. It's a big concern where the goals are going to come from. You expect a lot of product from your wide players, the Antonys, the Garnachos, but they're quite selfish players, he told TNT Sports. They're thinking about scoring themselves, their own goals. Marcus Rashford isn't in form this season. I know he was ill tonight, but he's not been firing either. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag could be missing 13 players from his Manchester United team ahead of their clash against Liverpool on Sunday. United have suffered two more setbacks with Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw going off injured as they were eliminated from the Champions League on Tuesday night. The Red Devils were knocked out of another cup competition with a 1-0 against Bayern Munich at Old Trafford. Things don't get any easier, with a trip to Anfield where the Red Devils lost a miserable 7-0 last season, their joint heaviest defeat in history. Ten Hag will be desperate to salvage his Premier League season, but this could prove tricky without Maguire and Shaw. Both stars had been key under Ten Hag in recent weeks meaning the Dutchman will be forced to make two defensive changes he would have wanted to avoid. Against Bayern, the Dutchman turned to veteran Johnny Evans and Aaron Juan Bissaka to plug the gaps. Evans can be expected to play centre-back alongside Rafael Varane, while Juan Bissaka takes up residency at right-back, with Diogo Dalot forced to cover left-back in Shaw's absence. Dalot is a right-back by trade, but has played on the left flank several times under Ten Hag and should not be ruled out in starting in that position at Anfield. Victor Lindelof missed United's defeat to Bournemouth, having picked up an injury in the first half of the Red Devils' win over Chelsea, while long-term absentees Tyrell Malasia and Lisandro Martinez are unlikely to feature on the team sheet on Sunday. In midfield, Casemiro is out with an unknown return date, meaning Loni Sofian Amrabat will be expected to cover. Christian Eriksen, who limped off during the win over Luton before the international break, is also expected to be absent this weekend. Scott McTominay will continue to cover for the Danian after being on great form this term. With outcast Donny van de Beek unlikely to start against Liverpool, Kobe Mino can be expected take charge in central midfield. 
Skipper Bruno Fernandes is suspended after receiving his fifth booking this season and will have to serve a one-match suspension, ruling him out of the trip to Anfield. Summer signing Mason Mount, who hasn't really got it going as a United star, is currently dealing with a calf issue. Up front Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial have both missed training this week due to illness. While neither have been able to make an impact so far, this term, Ten Hag, could draw them back into action if fit. Outcast Jadon Sancho will continue being covered by youngster Alejandro Garnacho, who has been a key on the left wing in recent weeks. Right-winger Ahmad Diallo is still out with a knee injury forcing Antony, who is yet to score a goal this term, to take up the right wing. Both Antony and Garnacho will support striker Rasmus Hoylund, who is yet to score in the Premier League. They currently sit sixth in the league, again and again. Graham Potter is being lined up to replace Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. Sunsport understands incoming investor Sir Jim Ratcliffe has met with former Chelsea chief Potter and favors him as the new boss at Old Trafford if he fires Ten Hag. The threat to the Dutchman's position increased following Tuesday's 1-0 Champions League home defeat to Bayern Munich and a heavy loss on Sunday at bitter rivals Liverpool, where United got humiliated 7-0 in March, could be the final straw for under-fire Ten Hag. Jose Mourinho was sacked by the Red Devils following a 3-1 loss to Jurgen Klopp's side in December 2018. Potter, 48, has not managed since being sacked by Chelsea in April after less than a season in charge. Any time could be sacked as it is reported. Meanwhile, Manchester United are struggling to shift 73 million of pounds, flop Jadon Sancho Sunsport can reveal. Eric Ten Hag is desperate for the 23-year-old winger to leave the club in January. But despite working flat out to try and line up a move, United have yet to find a taker for the England international. Former club Borussia Dortmund have been linked, but sources have told Sunsport the German giants aren't keen. Their Bundesliga rivals RB Leipzig have also expressed an interest. But Sancho's wages, he earns a reported £350,000 a week, are believed to be putting them off. The situation is being further complicated by the fact United don't want him to go out on loan to another Premier League club. But the situation means Eric Ten Hag is facing the prospect of having to go into the second half of the season with the misfit training with the reserves. A source told Sunsport the situation with Sancho is turning into a nightmare. Club, manager and player are keen for a deal to happen in January. They've been working flat out to try to get something in place. A loan move is in the interest of all parties but, so far, nobody has come in with a firm offer. Dortmund were interested but there is a concern that Sancho won't be fit enough to hit the ground running, which is putting them off. And his wages are putting off others as well, including RB Leipzig. It's still possible a club in Spain or Italy might come in for him, but as things stand, there are no offers on the table. A red line for the club is that Sancho can't go out on loan to a Premier League rival. They don't want to hand over a top player to another team in the league. But the situation is growing increasingly untenable, and the new investors in particular are keen to resolve it. They back the manager, and the manager wants the player to move on, but with each passing day, it's looking more and more likely that Sancho could be at United in the second half of the season. But having a player like that rotting in the reserves just makes no sense.